Hey guys, it's Snowdrama here. So I just finished editing parts four and parts five of the JSON utility uh, system serializable tutorial, and those are actually uploading right now. And during the editing, I noticed there was one little itty bitty problem that uh, I didn't cover in those tutorials. And that's that because in our previous example, our resources looked something like, let's say um, levels, level one, uh, level.json, right? Something like this. So in this case, we want it to look the same thing, except we're going to be appending it with this persistent data path. Now, so yeah, the problem with that is basically when I say, you know, uh, levels slash level one slash level.json, uh, the problem is the levels folder and the level one folder don't actually exist. So what we're going to want to do is at the beginning of the uh, of this, we're going to want to uh, actually check to validate that those folders exist. And if they do, uh, if they d do, then you're all set. But if they don't, we're going to actually create those. So let's open up here our JSON file utility. And you can see even right here, the code is still here. Levels, level one, level.json. Um, so we actually don't know if these level, these actually exist. If you try to write to here, Unity will give you an error. So we're going to actually create another utility class. And that utility class will uh, allow us to... Um, that you just put that in the uh, the first scene or whatever, and that will allow the game as soon as it loads to validate that everything is okay, and then uh, give you the heads up that everything is okay. So we're going to come into Unity here, and we'll create a C sharp script, and we'll call it uh, Directory. Oh wow. I'm, I've been really bad at spelling the last couple of the last couple of videos. Uh, directory uh, manager. Now um, I'm going to do this with an array uh, on the game object itself, but uh, you could also, if you wanted to, do this with a JSON file. So you could create a structure uh, that stores an array and then read that array in from your uh, from your resources folder or something like that. And then that will be your uh, your actual directory structure, right? So you could you could actually, you know what? We'll do that. Well, let's let's do that. So um, show you some of the uh, the uses that I use this kind of thing for. So system dot serializable. Um, public struct and oh God, I hate when that happens. Um, we're going to call this, um, directory structure. And so now in this, we're going to have a, um, let's say, call it a public, well, we'll say public directory. Wow. Directory structure, um, file struct, um, and so uh, the directory structure here will could just contain a string array of uh, directories. So at the beginning here, we're going to want to read this directory structure file in. And so we're going to use our load JSON from file. Um, we don't want to cut that. We want to copy that. Um, so in the start function here, we're going to just say um, string, um, <clears throat> yeah, string JSON string equals json file utility dot load json uh what was it load json from file copy that use load json from file and we're going to call this uh we're going to put this in our resources folder so it'll be resources um directory structure dot json we're just going to put it there and because this is going in the resources folder now don't put this i wouldn't put this in the um the external files i would put this in your directory uh in your resources directory because this won't change once you've 
des defined your directory structure on your external part uh, on the external part you won't need to do this a second time so we're going to say this is true so this is a is is a resource we're going to read that in actually we can just say uh if we wanted to we could just say uh actually file struct we can write it directly to our um our file struct here and then we'll use uh, json utility um, from json as a directory structure and this will take a json utility string and there we go so this should load our file structure directly into our um our structure here. so let's create that file that file will look something like uh what do we call it uh we called it <clears throat> directories <clears throat> So here's a, um, a array of directory strings, which uh, in this case, let's say we want the saves folder and we're going to want, um, so in, we wanna check the, this is the thing. In this, we're going to go in, from top to bottom, we're gonna check all of these. So first we're gonna check the saves folder. Then we're gonna check saves, uh, for example, saves, save one, Right? And we're going to check each one of these to see if the directory exists. Uh, I believe we need a slash on the end. I'm not sure. We're going to double check that. So I'll say like saves one, two, three, four, five. Right. Oop. Don't want to save that yet. And so we've checked our saves file. Maybe we want some kind of options file. So options. And then we will check uh, for... And so the, okay, we'll say, just say options folder. So this will go into our JSON utility tutorial assets. Um, inside the assets folder, we're going to want to create a new folder and called resources. This is a folder we created in the first episode of it. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. Um, and we'll call this um, inside resources. So we just have in, uh, the file was just directory structure. Dot JSON directory structure dot John dot JSON. All right, so we're going to save that into our directory structure here. Uh, so directory structure JSON is now set, and so now we're going to read directory structure JSON into this directory structure <clears throat> object, and then we're going to um, right after we do that, we don't need an update function because we're we're only doing this once, um, but then we're going to have public. Uh, bool uh, structure okay wow okay and the bool will be default to false and so now we're going to say public static void um, or bool uh, check directory structure and this will take a string array of directories and now we're going to check e each one of these and then make sure they exist if they don't then we're going to create them so just like we did with the um, previous iteration we're in json file utility we say system.io file exists in this case we're going to also include the system.io so using system.io and we're going to say if um uh, directory dot exists and then or actually we're going to need a for each for each um string directory in directories we're going to check to see if that directory exists if it does not then we're going to need to create the directory um, so we're going to say right at the top here, right? This it already equals false. 
Um, so we're going to actually, we actually want this to be true at the beginning. So we're going to say after, right before we call it, right? Cause full, it's going to be false when the object is created because we haven't checked yet. Then we're going to set it to true right at the, the top here. That's because we're going to assume everything is okay. If it doesn't exist, then, um, we're going to, uh, create it. Okay, so it's going to check to see in the application data path whether or not exists, the persistent data path, whether or not it exists. So now we're going to have to try to create that directory if it doesn't exist. So we're actually going to hit a, do a try catch. Um, in this case, we don't need the system because we're going to do just include system. So let's just include system right here. Okay, and then. Um, And then we are going to try to create the directory. So we're going to say uh, directory, uh, create directory. Yep. Directory dot create directory and then the path, which is going to be application persistent data path slash directory. If it fails, then we're going to say structure okay uh, equals false. So, in this case, we want the, it'll be okay as long as every directory either exists or uh, is created successfully. If it fails, then we're going to set it to false. Um, and then you can check to, to do something like uh, close the application if it, if it fails to create the directories. For, if for whatever reason the application is like, hey, we can't actually create the directories we need, then your application can like close or put up an error message or something like that. Um, so it's going to try to create the directory and set that to, oh, this has to be static just as a, um, as a heads up. This has to be static because we'll need, uh, it needs to be static in order to access it here. But that's useful because later then you can say directory manager, uh, you can reference directory manager stru uh, structure okay uh, in order to see later on in the application if the structure is fine. And other than that, so then once we've iterated over this whole thing, then we're all set. So right at the top here, we're going to say uh, directory manager dot check directory structure. And we're going to pass it our file struct dot directories. And that should allow us to um, to do that. Let me go right here. Uh, did I miss something? That's supposed to be an open parenthesis, not not a bracket. Um, directory structure directories is inaccessible. Oh, and I forgot to make this public. Um, yeah, so this should be uh, a parenthesis on our catch. I don't know why it ended up becoming a, uh, a bracket. Um, nope, and not all code paths return a value. We're going to say at the very bottom of this for each uh, return um, structure OK. So if it gets all the way to here, it returns a true if the structure is okay. So we could catch that here. We could say like bool structure um, st okay because we can't call it the same thing. So st bool st okay, and then we can say like if um, not st okay, then uh, application um, quit. So we'll just quit the application if the uh, the it has a problem. We should probably add in some kind of like error log. Um, but that would be what it would be is we, on start we check the file structure. If it's okay, then we do we continue. If it's not okay, then we quit and write to the error log so that we can get that information. Variable E is declared at 35. What? Oh, it's never used. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care. Um, so yeah, now we can go to our game object here 
and then uh, equip our directory manager object here. Um, also, one thing is we want this to be on the awake. We want this to happen before everything, so we want it to be on the awake. Just real quick, double, double check there. And now we should be able to run and let's see what errors we get. Okay. So yep, there's our structure. Saves, save one, save two, save three, save four, save five, and options. So now that we have that, we can, let's go check the file structure inside of our um, applications so we're going to go to the application persistent data path. And so here's the data path for our JSON utility tutorial. There's the saves folder, there's the options folder, and then save this, the save one, two, three, four, five folders exist and the options folder exists as well. So now you can also, now, now that it, and, and when it runs a second time, it'll continue to work correctly because every time it will check, it'll skip over it because it says, yep, the folder's already there. And if I were to damage the structure by deleting one of the folders, it would then recreate the folder. So, yep, there you go. That's a, just a real quick thing that I wanted to make sure I covered, uh, mostly because uh, I know that in episode four, uh, we, I, I use, I quote unquote use a multi-tiered folder structure and if those folders don't exist, then the files won't get created or won't be able to be read. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, like it and subscribe if you like the video. If you've watched the whole series up to this point, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, you now have all of this extra knowledge on how to uh, do JSON, uh, use the JSON utility and all that jazz. So hopefully this has been useful to you and I will see everybody later. Peace out.